Five occult secrets every practitioner should know. Hello, I'm Max Raven. And I'm Cassandra Raven. Together we have decades of experience in the occult, witchcraft and magic. We share insight, knowledge, advice and lifestyle tips to make your magic go further and add potency to your work. Now, where have we been? Where have we been? Where haven't we been? We've been really busy creating some amazing things. I'm working with an amazing artist, Steve Samsara, to create a full 78 card tarot deck and I'm writing the accompanying book. It's called the Kabbalah Tarot. The deck and the book are due for release later in 2023. I have a free Facebook group you can join to keep up to date with all the latest info. The link is in the description below. Please comment and let me know if you like these cards. We've finished all the major arcana now and we are currently creating the court cards. My god, you have been busy. What else have you been doing? I have a tarot course out. It's called Know the Major Arcana. Hooray! It's four methods you can use to know all 22 Major Arcana cards, and it works with any tarot deck. This course includes four hours of video lessons, a PDF, and a free bonus additional visualization technique. And I'm currently offering 60% off for the first 20 people to sign up. So there are still discount places available when this video goes out, but you might need to be quick. The link to the Know the Major Arcana course is in the description below. But wait, she's done even more. What else? <laughs> I have an online community. If you're interested in learning tarot, you can join my VIP community group where I teach how tarot and Kabbalah work together with masterclasses, lessons, teaching materials, lives, challenges, competitions, giveaways, and much more. The link is in the description below. What have you been doing? Not much. Well, in reality, I've been putting together some fantastic events with other mad people here in the UK. We're doing a Beltane event at Woodchester Mansion in the UK. The event will run for two days, the 30th of April and the 1st of May in 2023 and be free entry during the day. The ground floor will be full of unique traders. There will be activities outside, fun games, wacky ones like teapot racing and hobby horse dressage. On both nights, there'll be live music from local bands. Tickets for the evening event will go up really soon. And I'm sure you can probably guess what the link's going to be. Is it's... it in the description below? Maybe. <laughs> Worth checking. <laughs> okay, let's get on to the five occult secrets every practitioner should know. Number one, know thyself. When you know yourself in every aspect, your shortcomings, your strengths, your weaknesses, where there is literally no situation that can get the better of you, there is nothing that can stand in your way. If you know where you might struggle, or if there's something that you really have a problem with, you can plan for things. You know and you can catch yourself falling into negative habits or mm -hmm. processing things incorrectly. So many people use this phrase as a throwaway comment, but very few put the effort in to better themselves. That's true, and I think if you know where you're likely to trip up, then it clears the path ahead for successful workings. Very true. Occult secret number two, alchemy isn't just about chemicals and metals. We see these old pictures of bearded mages surrounded by scientific equipment. I feel a bit called out there. <laughs> but I don't think you should take those images too literally. The metals correspond to planetary energies. And if you look at your astrological birth chart, you'll see which aspects of yourself may benefit from the process of refining those energies. The alchemy happens inside you. This really is inner transformation. Like with traditional alchemy, where you're working with um, materials, you're trying to create gold. You are tra transposing yourself from the raw material into a solid gold being mm. or a, an enlightened being. A cold secret number three! Everywhere can be a working space. You don't need to have your fancy altar. You don't need to have a hundred black candles and be a full moon and <laughs> dancing around naked with a bonfire, although fun. Uh, uh. Um, you need to be able to use magic in everyday life and you need to be able to understand that there is nothing that can stop you. A cold secret number four, magical tools. So many people will have things like their thames, their chalices, their etc, etc. A lot of people will end up buying these or they're being mass produced. 
self-made is always, always better. It doesn't matter if it's the ugliest thing you have ever seen. <laughs> You've made it, it's got your energy and it's gonna be much, much stronger. I'm actually gonna take that a step further and say you don't actually need anything really other than your mind. Um, but of course, all these things add potency to what you're oh, doing definitely. as well. Oh, definitely, it's layers. So, occult secret number five, intention isn't everything. It doesn't matter where you're from, what culture you're from, what path you're following, or how you work, there are certain energies that are the same the world over. For example, fire is always fire, water is always water. Those things have certain qualities. Use what you know about nature and the way that things work to strengthen your practice. Don't pick something random like a pretty red candle just because it feels right if you're working on something that needs a calming energy. You're going against what you're trying to achieve, so you need to know your correspondences. There's a point where intuition does work, but it's not before you've learned sympathetic magic or explored your subconscious or dealt with what your ego believes to be true. Thank you everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe and tell us in the comments and if there's anything you'd like to add to this list. And don't forget to check out the links in the description. Have you told them about the links in the description? I think they know. Okay. <laughs>